For Husqvarna, KTM, and Gas Gas Enduro motorcycles, you can buy an OEM plug-and-play computer-controlled fan or an adjustable fan with digital display. The digital fan requires an extra harness in addition to the fan kit. I went with the digital display fan because I like seeing my warm-up temps in addition to running temps. Uh, the process for installing either one is the same with the exception of the final electrical hookup. To install the cooling fan, you need to remove the seat, the side plastics, and the tank. Uh, to do that, uh, you'll need an 8 millimeter, and that should take off everything that needs to be taken off to do that. Uh, you also need to disconnect the fuel level sensor as well as uh, the fuel line itself. This has a full tank of gas, and when you disconnect this quick coupling, uh, no fuel is lost. You can install the, the wash kit, the little plugs, uh, to keep debris out of it if you want, or if you're going to clean your bike while you're doing this. And then uh, disconnect the, the fuel tank vent, and then the tank's ready to pull. You now have access to that right hand radiator, uh, which is where the fan will go, and that will cool both sides as uh, the two radiator elements are connected with the crossover uh, hose up at the top. Uh, removing the skid plate as well. I don't want any coolant to puddle as I drain it. And then I find a, a clean bucket here if you're going to reuse your coolant. Um, this coolant's brand new. I actually just replaced it with new coolant anyway. But to drain the, uh, the coolant, you remove the drain plug from the water impeller housing there for the water pump and it really won't drain until you pull the radiator cap and when you do it comes out in a hurry so be ready for that. And then I'm tipping the bike here to get the last dribbles before installing the drain plug again. And uh, that gets torqued um, to 88 inch pounds. Clean it up a little bit. And then with a 6 millimeter, uh, you'll loosen the three hose clamps. Two at the bottom of the radiator element on the right hand side and one up at top with the crossover um, tube or hose. And then uh, that'll pop free. And then there's a, an overflow tube here. If the bike gets hot, it'll dump it down that overflow tube and drop it right onto the, um, the exhaust pipe, and you'll be smelling uh, coolant there. And then pulling out the new fan. Comes with some instructions, um, some attachment, attaching hardware, hardware and thermal paste, and then the the fan itself. You need to orient it according to the instructions and and how it makes sense onto the radiator and then with the T20 Torx uh, you'll install the four screws provided and torque them to 20 inch pounds. Next you'll uh, take the thermal paste and uh, put that on the element for the temperature sensor for the digitally controlled fan. And then according to the instructions that's going to go in the top left corner of the radiator. And then just lightly tap it in. It requires just a little bit of force. until it's fully seated. And now it's ready to go back on the bike. Plugging in the two lower hoses. Might have to loosen the clamps a little bit here to get the hose to go on. And then you tighten those up to 21 inch pounds. The total system capacity is 1.3 quarts. Um, not that much was drained out. Obviously, what was in the engine didn't come out. You know, all of it when you drain it. So one bottle will more than uh, do it. And then you fill it up to just above the fins. And then uh, after I rode this for a few days, I actually took it down to Moab and. It uh, didn't give me any problems at all. The coolant level stayed up. I was kind of wondering if I'd get a bubble or I'd see the coolant level drop, but it didn't. It, it, uh, it stayed right where it needed to be. 
I clipped a little zip tie for the main wiring harness and then uh, undid the little saddle strap here and then I fed the auxiliary harness that's required uh, for the trail tech fan with the digital display over to that side and plugged it in it isn't a, a snap in place connection it's more of a compression fit uh, threw on a new zip tie and then did up the little saddle strap for that harness and this part uh, was took the most uh, creativity I guess uh, it took me a few times to get the harness routed where I wanted it to be and you'll see here that initially um, I routed it in a way that ended up not working out when I went to put the seat on but I'll show you that anyhow and then uh, you can kind of see what to watch out for and then you'll see how I corrected that so you just disconnect the battery and add this harness to uh, the terminals there and I'd loop it around there and that ends up where that loops end up interfering with the uh, seat where it it locks down and has the screw or the bolt go through it and then I put the tank back on all the shrouds and uh, assemble everything get it put back together And then the final step here, this is where I realized that that wasn't going to work. So um, in the process of finagling with all these, I kind of um, reworked the boot here for the positive terminal cover. And installed it like that and then put the, the fuse, kind of that large part alongside the module and that ended up fitting fine and, and being below where the seat would um, press down and didn't have any more interference. After that the seat went on and it was time to test it out and uh, make sure that the fan was going to work. I'm seeing 51 degrees on the display so it would be a good temperature to run the cold start knob. Then I'm going to test the fan by putting it at the low end of its setting. Uh, it goes from 150 to 200 and so I'll put it at the low end so I can check out its operation. Uh, you can also set this for uh, Celsius. Uh, here you see me activate the cold start knob and get it up to temperature and then when I see around 115 or so I'll kick that off and then uh, watch in here and come up to 151 and boom the fan goes on so working like it should and then I'll bump it up a couple of degrees and see if it turns off where it's supposed to. Uh, it will normally kick off one degree below where you set it at and then I'll set it at uh, you know a temperature I think will be appropriate for the kind of writing I plan to do and see how I like it um, but really happy with how it turned out and the information it provides. I appreciate you watching I hope you like and subscribe.